Rise and shine, guys. It's 5 a.m. Do you know what that means? What? Yeah, you do. It's time for Dawn Valve, you idiot. Yeah! <laughs> for you today we've got everything we've got lost property we've got the football scores we've got cartoons we've got a new drama starting today and also our favorite call in interactive phone game i can't wait to get started <clears throat> okay so without further ado shall we dixon yeah shall we take our first caller for colored sleeve steerer okay who we got here hello is that celio on line one hello celio hello Hello? CEO, have you got the phone there? Hello? Um. Hello? Oh, get the phone. Come on! Come on! Okay, should we move on to our second caller? Okay, is that Bradford? Hello? Ah, Bradford, how you doing, buddy? Yes, I've just arrived at the service station and realised that my wife is no longer in the car. I have a feeling she came free at Junction 9 and rolled away. Uh, so what can I say? She'll be out there somewhere running around, no doubt. All right, okay. Sounds cool. Okay, so you know how the game works. Four to go left, six to go right? Yes. Great, okay. Well, the best of luck. Uh, three, two, and then one, and then go. Okay. Off we go. Okay. Yeah, shove that up your ass, you smelly old mouse. This is an easy ride. Easy peasy. Get out of the way, you mad pig. Oh, you little sponge head. Oh, dude. That's really sad. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to send you a prize, don't worry. We're going to send you a bumper batch of Bailey's Live to Glide Ingenio Sleeves. You could be on some kind of night off with your mates, you're chewing some chockies, and you want to just savour that for later. These Ingenio Sleeve pocket liners give you that option. And when you get home, just chuck the damn thing away, yo! Anyway. Thanks for calling in, Bedford. Da -da -da. Next See time. you later. Um, bye, bye. We're going to now go to our new show called The Gussages. I've been looking forward to It's so good to get out of the city sometimes. It can be really overwhelming. I like this place. Wow, we the view is absolutely brilliant. You know, Loy, I think it's a shame that Bugsy's missing out. You think we should should wake him up? No, you got to let the guy sleep. That's why he's asleep. Yeah, I know. But if I was missing out on all this stuff, I'd be really mad. You know, I I I don't know if I could be friends with me. Um. I think you should leave Bugsy right alone. He needs sleep, he is tired, you in a building, it's gonna ruin our weekend completely. Well, to be fair, he did sleep bad because you had your music up loud. That's not true, you know that's not true. Really? Really? Well, how come he never wakes up? When it's just me in the house. Why are you such a freeloader? 
why do things always have to revert back to money with you? You're obsessed with money and currency. You know what? Sometimes I wonder why we're friends at all. Because sometimes you behave like a pile of pillow rays. I can't believe you. I can't. I hate. I hate. <sighs> you know what? I'm the one who's already fed up on this holiday. I want to quit. I quit the holiday. What do you think about that? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you want to stop, do you? Stop the car, drop me off. Okay, let's let's make that happen for you. Put the gun down. Down. I don't know, sometimes you're such a jerk-off. Uh, Matthew. Matt. Mark. Wow. Wowee, what a first episode of The Gussages. Make sure you tune in next week. Absolute pile of Um, We now have the football scores. There was just one football match played today at Rembala Country Park. It was a three-a-side match between captains Jaden Blash and Otam Pal. The score ended up being 1940 to Otam's team, but the match was cut short due to Jaden's dad, Baker, running onto the pitch drunk and demanding money from the children. He was subsequently chased off by a uh, off-duty lollipop boy, chased up a chestnut tree and hasn't been seen now for about nine hours. So the last anyone heard was a text to Jaden from Baker saying, I'm sorry for always being drunk and kind of goofy. Also, I think I sat on a set of acorns and three have gone up the hole in my ass. Uh, well, he, uh, three have gone up his arsehole. He means three have gone up his arsehole. We have to do an appeal now, really, because he's been missing for over six hours and he should be looking after his child. So if you see a man fitting this description, please do get in touch. Baker Blash is four foot two. He has no hair anywhere. It was all burnt off at work a few months ago. He has something called Sweet Cooper's Syndrome, which means he only has um, one nostril. A bit like a windsock. He has a tattoo of a gingerbread neurosurgeon on his shoulder. Also, he collects chewing gum and sticks it to his body. So if you do get close enough, lift up the top and you see lots of old chewing gum stuck to him. A bit like looking under an old school desk. Give us a shout. Now, if I saw anything fitting that description, I'd personally you know, I'd run him over. But just for the sake of Jaden getting another meal on the table, if you could give us a call, that'd be really cool. Now, over to the weather with Hugo Boglanoid. Um, Hugo, what do you got for me up in the sky? Hello, Hugs. Hey there, Beat. Good to have you with us. Um, it's funny, this time of year when we're deep into rainy season in the UK, I always feel so isolated. Um, What's that? Hello! Okay. So, could you give me an idea of when that may end? Uh, yeah, well, the UK doesn't, strictly speaking, have a uh, rainy season, so... What? Uh, maybe you just need to get out of your damp flat more, huh? Oh, f***ing... No, 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 sorry. What's that? Ooh, talking about... No, just...
No. Uh, we've been doing the rounds and we have found out that if you're in the top piece of England today, uh, it's going to be ace. Uh, it's going to feel like, well, let's book a holiday, let's spend some money. Um, people are a little bit more chatty up north today with the weather. Um, a little bit of a, a, a 10 mile an hour wind, but nothing too harsh. Passed over Windsor this morning, however, and I saw a man burying his barbecue and his Bermuda shorts, and I was tempted to shout from the speaker, what are you doing, you idiot? Um, the summer's not over yet, and it's not. It's feeling very hot. Uh, we've got highs of 15 uh, this morning, which is very big for March. And I've got to say, I've been pretty impressed with the way some of the mountains look as well. So, not usually a mountain man, but had my arm twisted by God, let's just say. Also, it's been it's a bit of a strange day for light because it keeps switching between light and dark every, every few minutes. Um, but I spoke to one of the guys and he thinks I may be having seizures. So it could just be a seizure thing. So I'll get that checked out when we hit dry land. I think we're gonna, yeah, I think we're gonna head towards a twister that we got coming up and uh, see if we can get some temperature recordings from the inside. Oh, a little bit on the bumpy side, but I'm sure we can get some good footage. Guys, well, well interesting watching, watch you watch. Luckily, uh, we came down high, landed in some birch just here, and uh, Pollard and Marky, the pilot, landed in the next field on some hay bales. And I went over to them just now and said, uh, hey, what the f was that? Uh, we got too close, uh, so um, my bad, really. Uh, just to summarize today's weather, uh, if you're in the top piece of England, it's fair. If you're in the bottom piece, it's unfair. That's the farmer. That's the farmer. Guys, go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Praxim, thank you so much for coming down at such short notice. I must say, these machines took my breath away. And listen to me now, Mayor Maypash. I'm honoured to serve the people of this team with my engineering skills. May I introduce to you uh, this tune's newest cleanup crew and labour saving devices, Wattle and Daub, aka of the Walker Pods. Mars! Hey up, Mayor Maypash. It's an absolute joy to meet you. I'm very excited to be working for Ketterenborough Council. Now please, what may our first job be? You're not a f***ing thing. Well, don't be shy, Mayor. Simply give us a job no one else will do. All right, bud, chill out. Let the lady talk. That's right. Well, the first thing I'd like you guys to look at is some dis-legal fly-tipping going down at Local Brook. Oh, we believe there is a man called Dossiel Darby coordinating most of these dumps. Uh, please accept my apologies, Mayor Maypash. It's the first time these robots are alive. Well, let's hope they're a little bit more considerate out and about, because you've got to win the hats and mods. You are able to connect remotely with the Walker Pods using this radar tracking device. Ah, no. I'm so enjoying my first day of being alive. I dare say you're quite right, Dorb. Can't wait to get my hands dirty. Oopsie Daisy, you stepped in a woof worm. Hanger banger, I got Chucky Moose makeup. <laughs> Well, shuffle my gigabyte storm. This is Kawat the dumping ground. Oh my god, there's just so much stuff. 
Ah, there's a dentist's waiting room. <coughs> a segment of the A14. Oh, mate! Where's Junction 5 gone? Ah, oh, and look, some chunks of the 1987 Great British Storm. Good afternoon to you. Earlier on today, apparently a woman rang the BBC and said she heard that there was a hurricane on the way. Well, if you're watching, you can kiss your ass goodbye. Oh, this is pretty cool. Hi, ah! ah! about it going, Everett? I am. Yeah, well, I up there, Fisher Boy Brown. I don't suppose you've seen anybody dumping rather large autumns of a rubbish round here, are y'all? Well, I have seen a guy driving to and fro in a Bedford rascal van, and I must say, ever since he's been coming, my fish have tasted a little bit on the synthetic side. But tasty either way, but tasty either way. Oh, look over there, Wattle. I think that's the van. Hey, <laughs> up, Dorb. My techno nostrils are telling me this might be docile Darby. Ah, uh, so someone has now seen me. Quick, go on! See you later. Hey, <laughs> up, this ain't so good. I'll tell you what, this stream's got a bit of a current to it, eh, really? I do! Oh, oh, oh. What, so where are you? Oh, what's this? Looks like there's a problem with Wattle. I better let Prax him now. Baby, I love to show, baby. What's this? Uh oh, I got a feeling the walker pods might be in trouble. I up. Got time for today on Dawn Valve, so until next time, shut up and flex.